Hello everyone, may God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Today in the Voice of Faith, we're going to talk about the promise of God that comes upon our life when we endure, when we do not lose heart, when we don't give up. We believe that everyone, everyone, is entitled to the promise of God when they believe. When they believe. But some people believe for a certain period of time. And others, they believe all the time. And that's where the difference lies. Those who believe all the time, they endure, they persevere, believing in the promises of God, so they will see results. They will see the achievements, the blessings in their life. But those who do not persevere or believe all the time, they may not receive God's promises. And the promises of God to bless our life, the promises of God for the Holy Spirit, for instance, for you to receive the Spirit of God, a change of life, this depends on you not throwing away your trust, your confidence in the Word of God. We're going to show you here a word today from the book of Hebrews chapter 10. The Bible says, Therefore, do not cast away your confidence. Look at that. Do not cast away your confidence. Your confidence is your trust, which has great reward. You see? Great reward. For you have need of endurance. You need endurance, perseverance, so that after... You have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. Look at that. After you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. The promise of God. The promise of the Holy Spirit. You see that the Lord Jesus, when promised the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, He said, wait, wait. Because in the right time, in the right moment, you will receive the Holy Spirit. And the disciples, they had to wait. And in the day of Pentecost, they were baptized in the Holy Spirit. For your life to change, for your family to change, for your finances to change, for you, for you to see a change in your life, you need to, first of all, not Cast away your confidence, your trust. You need to keep believing, keep trusting in the Word of God. Keep trusting the promise of God and His Word. Do not cast away your confidence from the Word of God. You know that we human beings, normally, we put our confidence in the Word of others. We put our confidence in what so-and-so said. But you know that so-and-so, they may fail. And they may disappoint you. And how many people got disappointed putting all their confidence on someone? And perhaps today, your life is void, empty. Perhaps today you are depressed, suicidal, because you put all your confidence on someone. Transfer your confidence to the Word of God, to what is written. Because what is written will be fulfilled in your life. And you can claim, you can claim what is written in your life in your family, in all the areas of your life. You can claim what is written. 
and it will happen. What is written will happen, will be done in your life. But you need to put all your confidence, not 80%. 99% also is not enough. It's all. It's all or nothing. With God, it's like that. It's all or nothing. Or, or you put all your confidence in the word of God or not. It's not to put all your confidence in his word, but also, you know, put all your confidence in the word of someone else. No, it's all or nothing. And after that, you need to keep trusting, enduring, enduring, doing the will of God. And the will of God is always contrary to our will. There will be a conflict between the spirit and the flesh, the emotions, the heart and the mind. Your mind is telling you, sacrifice. Your mind is telling you, stay away from sin. Stay away from evil. Don't listen to what people are saying. But your heart, on the other hand, is trying to deceive you with emotions, with feelings, for you to give up, for you to throw away, throw the towel, if you know what I mean. In the boxing, right? They throw the towel, means they, they give up. Throw the towel, give up, give up on your life, give up on your family, give up on your dreams, give up God, give up on the Lord. Stop seeking the Holy Spirit. This is a waste of time. If you listen to these voices, then you will not receive the promise. It's very clear. It's very clear. Do not cast away your confidence, which has a great reward. Great reward. Because God is great. Our God is great. The God of Abraham is a great God. And he wants to greatly reward you, but you need endurance. And after you have done the will of God, you will receive the promise of God. The promise of God. What God has prepared for us, what God has promised, He will do. Because what is written cannot fail. Amen. What is written cannot fail. Today is Wednesday and Today, we are preparing ourselves for the beginning of the fast of Daniel tomorrow. And today, the whole day, we are going to prepare ourselves, meditating the Word of God, seeking the Holy Spirit, 9 a.m. in Tagalog, 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. in English, and 8.30 p.m., 8.30 p.m., the midnight vigil of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Join us. To learn more and we begin the fast of Daniel tomorrow tomorrow Thursday we'll begin the fast 21 days seeking the Holy Spirit ministering the Holy Spirit and we're gonna be from here live we're gonna be from here our program 9 a.m. ministering the Holy Spirit upon your life as well reading the word Diving to the Word of God, 21 days in the presence of God. All right? So don't miss that today in preparation for the fast of Daniel in one of our meetings. All right? Our address is the 8th floor Trade Square Building in Changsha One. You can scan a QR code to get more information. If you are not available on the weekdays, our church is open every day. Sunday, the day of the Lord. Saturday and Sunday, we have services. Saturday, 10 a.m. and Sunday, 7 a.m. in Tagalog, 10.30 a.m. in Chinese, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. in English. Okay? You can join us. You can participate. All are welcome. Okay? Look forward to seeing you again. May God bless you abundantly. And may what is written be fulfilled in your life. God bless you. Bye-bye.